Um, this is part four. We are going to finish up the multi pocket folio. So <clears throat> we're going to jump right in, and I'm just going to share a couple of things um, that I've decided to do. This one, I'm just going to add taking the journal cards. I've stitched some um, little notebook papers in there just to have some additional writing because I thought since this is going to be a like a happy mail giveaway type thing, that might be really nice just to have some additional space for writing. So I'm going to tuck that back there. And this was just a couple of the tags. So that, again, is like a little writing space. And let's see here. So here in this little pocket, I've made a tiny tag. Let me get some trim on that. And then I thought it'd be fun just to add some of these little definition cards for the recipient to use in some of their projects. some turquoise uh, seam binding. I didn't realize I had any of that left, so that's going to match nice with this. So I think what I'm going to do uh, next, guys, is the... I'm going to do the journal with the little bag um, project, and in between, I'm going to start doing um, a bit more on the embellishments so that we can gather some things together and start working on um, some textures and layers within our journal cards and, and tags and things. So um, I think it might be fun to to incorporate some of those shorter projects in between. Not that the journal and the bag is going to be a long project, because it's not. Um, that's really straightforward, but I know a lot of people are new to this, and I thought it would be fun to share some of those ideas. Okay, so here, this was just um, one of the little envelopes that comes with the kit. I had printed that out. I'm going to leave that... Um, so that that's more writing space as well. So that's tucked there. And I went ahead and made a tiny belly band because remember we had this little brad that we wanted to cover. So I'm just going to get that adhered there. And then that's going to hold some things. These I'm inclined to leave as they are. You do whatever you feel for your project. But I like the idea of leaving that... Um, so that whoever receives this can either add some photos or they can add some pockets. So that's my thinking on that. I'll let that dry actually before we add anything to it. So just going to be filling this out and then the back here, we've already got the big tag. Where did this come from? I think I'll tuck this in here. And let me see. Oh, yeah, this was another thing I thought. These um, were some things that were gifted to me. And I just thought this has uh, been printed out on some acetate. So I'm going to make a little slide. And I think that's going to be cute tucked in in one of the little pro uh, pockets. I don't know, maybe... Actually, I'll put it in this one. I think that'll stand out a little bit nicer there. These little images here were from Tracy's Seaside. Um, mm, let me grab it. <coughs> Tra 
Tracy's Seaside Studio. She was so generous. She sent me a, a nice sample of what she's got in her shop. So if you're looking for some of these, the images are stunning. Um, I may have showed these before, but that's where that came from. She sent me that. Alrighty, let me get that. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to. I was going to glue that, glue it closed, but I'm not because actually that. I'm going to leave it like that. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to tuck that in there. I think that's really cute. Okay, what else do we want to do? I've made a few journal cards. I stamped on the handmade paper, so I want that. Actually, I might put that back here. So that will stand out, and that kind of fills that in. So, let's see here. I'm going to work on that one. This one, just a journal card with a little bit of, um, this is like a vellum. Um, oh, hang on, guys. I ordered these, I believe, on Amazon, and they're just little vellum <coughs> bits of ephemera, and you can see some of them are colored. When I got them, I mean, there's, to be honest, there's only a few in here like that, the rabbit, that's cute, but a lot of these I probably won't use. Um, Oh, I don't know. I'm sure I'll make use out of them, but yeah, I just, you know how you buy some things. And see, so you've got this whole section back there. I guess you could stamp on those. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do is get some of my stamps out this weekend and go ahead and stamp those with stays on. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, I just did that. <clears throat> And I added um, a little tab to it. And on this side, I've got, this was the one we were working on, where I stitched it. So I went back and just made a very simple journal card. I just added the tab to it. And that's tucked in there. And then this one I just added um, some of these. Uh, this is Amity Bloom. She's got these phrases. So I added that bloom each day. And that's just tucked in there. And that one's going to go in this pocket here. And go ahead and It's getting so bulky already, but isn't that pretty how that fills that in nice? I feel like I want something here. I wonder if I should put a phrase. That's nice. Her heart blooms sunflowers so she could always face the light. That might look nice there. Let me see if I can cut that. It just seems a bit plain now.
Let's see, I don't know. <clears throat> just feels like that. I do like that though. I think that'll be pretty there. But do I want to do... And then I've got this, <clears throat> just a couple of little bits there. I'm going to add to that, and I think I'll tuck that one in the back there. The only thing I'll probably do before that, I do a, um, a giveaway for these. And like I said, I don't know when that's going to be just yet, guys. I just had one, so um, I will probably go through and get a few more little tickets and some of the smaller things. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do on this one was a um, one of the Tim Holtz slotted uh, s stitched slot die. I was thinking that would be really cute in here, so I think I will add that, but I'm happy with how that's come out, and I'll just tuck that one in here. So it's, it's going to hold quite a bit. Um, for that, and then, like I said, here's the original one. And all I'm going to do now is just really go back through uh, my stash when I've got a bit more time, and um, add in some of the little, little journal cards and things here and there. Okay, guys. So that is the multi pocket. Folio. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that has given you some ideas. And like I said, if you don't have the, the file folders, don't worry. You can um, tweak this so easily with cardstock. Okay, so I think, <clears throat> like I said, the next couple of things I want to focus on are some um, embellishments, tutorials, and this um, waxed pouch how we can make that, um, and then you can add a mini journal to that. So that's going to be um, the upcoming things that I've got planned, and then as I said, once I can figure things out, oh, I see I didn't round those. See, I've got to go back and round those corners. I just noticed that. Um, so once I can get kind of organized, guys, I'll, I'll probably do a giveaway for these. I think that would be a lot of fun to send these out to... Um, a lucky couple of ladies. All right, guys, take care, and I will be back soon. Bye.